Hey guys, I've been playing Persona for Golden in real time, one day at a time, for the last 297 days, which brings us on to today, February 2nd, day 298. Now let's go ahead and see what the gang has been up to. Classes have ended for today. Your advancement exams will begin next week. It will be the last test you take at the school. Okay, we've got some time to kill. Let's see who else we want to have their Persona evolve. So we've done Kanjis, we've done Yukiko's, and we've done Naoto. So I think that's all the party members that we will take with us, but there's also definitely other people. So let's go ahead and, well, let's go to the roof. Okay, she is here, I think we can evolve her persona. Oh, Yukun, um, do you have time today? I was hoping you could come train with me. Well, I say training, but it's more like I just want to get some exercise. And I want to spend time with you while I still can. It seems Kie wants to talk to you about something. Will we spend the afternoon with Kie? Yeah. Okay, then let's go. Kie seems happy. Samagawa Riverbank. You decide to train with Kie. <laughs> my moves are as sharp as always. Hmm. I guess this is more my thing after all. Oh. My shoulders were stiff because I've been doing stuff lately that I'm not used to. Okay, it seems a bit forward, but let's go ahead and see if we can say you want a massage. Huh? No, that's okay. No thanks. When Yukiko gave me one the other day, I got so ticklish that I almost died laughing. She seems flustered. Actually, I was... Oh, you promise you won't laugh. I was studying and stuff. <laughs> Kie, studying? Let's go ahead and say... You know, we'll, we'll try to get more info, not be too judgmental, and just say, what happened? <laughs> Kie seems embarrassed. I started to think studying's kind of fun. Just a little bit. Thinking about Adachi-san made me wonder if he was just weird. But then I thought, if my life had been different, I could have been just like him. Maybe everybody could. I realized she's that no matter turning how into the Joker. She's like, seen, all that separates us is one bad day. And that scared me. That's why during history class, it hit me suddenly that the history we were studying was all connected to me. The people back then, the things they did, their culture. It's all connected, and it's tied to me, too. It's not just something that happened a long time ago in a faraway country. Real people laughed, cried, and died there. Math and physics, too. They may not make any sense to me, but they're things I can use to help me understand the world. And when I thought about them that way, I got the urge to study harder. But it still didn't make any sense to me. So I'd give up. And then I'd come back to it again. It's an endless cycle. <laughs> I'm good for nothing after all, huh? I mean, has Kie been like... I feel like studying is something everyone should be doing. I don't know why she's embarrassed to do that. Let's see. So she, she says she's good for nothing. Let's go ahead and say... We'll be supportive and say, want me to help? Sure. I know I'll understand better with you explaining to me. She is excited. My way of thinking has changed a lot over this past year. Okay, but sounds I like she's growing. Changed the most you know, that I like as a person. Now. I didn't hate it before, but it didn't really mean anything to me. Now, though, I realize that everyone is here. Yukiko, Yosuke, even you. All my friends and family. It was the people I believed in that gave me the strength to see the case through. So even if some other weird thing shows up again, I'll be okay, as long as everyone's with me. If I believe in them, and myself, I can always find a path. That's what I think. She is beaming. Kie's heart, having developed over this difficult year, attains greater power. Oh, huh. Kie's persona has been reborn again. Suzuka Gangen has transfigured into Haredo no Okami. 
Hiredo no Okami learned Dragon Hustle. This persona cannot remember any more skills. Please use one to forget. Increase parties, attack, defense, and hit and evade? Okay, that... Man, that sounds really useful. I'm a bit disappointed we don't take her with us. Uh, let's go ahead. I think an automatic Tarikaja. I can't remember what Tarikaja does. But I think we can do without that. Oh, wait. Increases critical rate for everyone. Uh, I guess that is a different stat than what this has. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of the auto Tarikaja. Dragon Hustle has replaced auto Tarikaja. I forgot Chie's persona has Dark Maul's lightsaber. Do more to protect the ones I love. That includes you too, you know. Since I love you. <laughs> let's see. Let's say protect me. <laughs> Does that sound like I was proposing to you? Uh, yeah. It wasn't meant as a proposal. <laughs> I guess it did. You can sense Hiei's unconditional love. You spent time talking about all sorts of things with Hiei until it became dark out. You're back. You can work as a janitor at the hospital today. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can find someone to spend time with for the evening. So there's Yumi. Okay, there's Rize. I think Rize takes a little bit, has a little... Okay, yeah, I think she takes precedent over Yumi. And then, I think that's... Man, I can't remember his name. I I know it's always, like, whoever's brother. Naoki, that's it. I just finished helping out my family, but if you're bored, maybe we could chat for a bit. Naoki seems bored. He might appreciate if you talk to them. You already have a bond with Naoki that is inseparable. Feel that you can't get any closer to Naoki than you are now, but it may be nice to spend the evening with him. Should you spend the evening with Naoki? See you. Well, I'll catch you some other time. See you later. Yeah, sorry, I just kind of wanted to get a refresher on what his name was. So let's go ahead, get to the South District, and let's spend the evening with Rize. Senpai. I was helping clean the store until just a second ago, but the water is so cold this time of year that it's tough. I'm finally done now, so I was taking a break. Rize seems bored. She might appreciate if you talked with her. You already have an inseparable bond with Rize. You feel that you can't get any closer to Rize than you are now, but it may be nice to spend the evening with her. Should we spend the evening with Rize? Let's do it. Really? Yay, I get to spend time with you. Rize seems happy. <laughs> hey senpai, it's almost Valentine's Day. You remember, right? I've been thinking all this time about my strategy. I mean, for us girls, this is all at war. Hmm. To be honest, I'm a little scared. I mean, you're so cool. What if another girl tries to hit on you? <laughs> She's not gonna like knowing about our other relationships. Just kidding. What am I getting worked up over? Uh, Man, I feel like you don't trust me or you're the only one for me is kind of like very deceptive. I feel like we're gaslighting her considering we are in other relationships. I feel bad, but I feel like we just have to not say anything. Huh? Why aren't you saying anything? You're so mean. Hmm. If you keep doing stuff like that, you'll end up driving me away. <laughs> just kidding. There's no way I could ever stop loving you, senpai. Rize is laughing with embarrassment. Alright, I'm gonna make this Valentine's Day one for the books. I love you! It'll be so special that you'll never forget it. I hope you're prepared. All right, now I'm kind of starting to feel bad having, you know, we just had Chie to tell us that she loved us again this afternoon. You enjoyed your idle chat with Rize. You feel your relationship with Rize has grown stronger. I feel quite the opposite. <laughs> oh, it's already so late, but I don't want you to leave yet. Huh, I shouldn't be so clingy, I know. Hey, Senpai, I want you to have this. I want you to have it, Senpai. You received Imrita Soda from Rize. It's a special something just for you. Keep it to yourself, okay? Well then, good night, senpai. Good night, senpai. You parted with Rize and went home.
Okay, I guess we're gonna get some more flashbacks of Marie. You remember falling asleep in your bed, but you feel more awake than ever. Is this a dream? You think back on your memories of Marie. Okay. Alright, Evolved Judy's Persona, which is pretty nice. Definitely a nice little bonus to have. And then spent a very tough, awkward time with the Rize, but, you know, hopefully things will work out okay. But that's going to wrap up the gameplay portion for today and bring us on to Shuffle Time. Alright, today's card is the Page of Swords in the Reverse Position. Let's go ahead and see what Fate has in store for us. When the Page of Swords is reversed, all the negative characteristics of her come out, and she may become almost dangerous. Being gifted with a sharp and alert mind, she may be using it for deception and manipulation. The sword that she wields may be used to create pain, her natural gift for language turned to a weapon. She may lack the understanding of the maturity to understand the suffering that she causes, Feel feeling the rush that one gets upon lashing out. On the other hand, this page may be someone of empty words of promises, who though loves talking, does not really talk about much of substance. Take care to show strength and action behind your words, for he may be damaging your reputation. Okay, you know, I feel like this is one that I don't necessarily need to hear. Like, if I say something, I'm usually very committed to doing that. For example, saying I'm going to do Persona for Hold in real time for over almost the span of a full year. And when I make a commitment like that, I feel very committed to actually following through with it. Otherwise, my reputation, not even in a online personality type of way, just my word and reputation as a person, I think is very important. And so, you know, sometimes it causes you to have to follow, well, basically, Choose your words carefully, because if you follow, you should follow them, and that can definitely define who you are. And that can sometimes be a bit of a burden, because you might overpromise and then have to do a lot more work than you anticipated. But it can also make you, if you say you're going to do something, then I feel like generally that's something you should be doing. And so being able to follow through with it and actually deliver on it is something that's very valuable and definitely a lot more worthwhile than just trying something, giving up on it, and moving on. I think in the long run, it's definitely going to pay off way better than just giving up on things and not sticking to what you say you'll do. But that's going to be another car down and another day done. So that's going to wrap it up for today. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to follow along with the journey. And I'll also be streaming Persona 3 Reload later tonight in just a little bit. So stay tuned for that as well. But either way, thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.